If you're looking for an in-depth Vitamix 5300 versus 7500 comparison, then this video is for you. I'll explain all the differences between the Vitamix 5300 and the Vitamix 7500 so that you know which product is most worth buying. Just make sure to click the links in the description box below to see the most up-to-date pricing information. The Vitamix 7500 and 5300 both pack a powerful punch with their 2.2 horsepower motors. You'll find these blenders can handle tough ingredients with ease, from frozen fruits to tough vegetables. Both models feature four inch diameter hardened stainless steel blades, which have been proven to pulverize even the most stubborn ingredients. Both machines have 10 variable speeds and a pulse function, so it's no wonder that they're virtually the same price as well, considering that they're near identical in terms of both design and functionality. Just bear in mind that prices can and do change. The only difference that I personally noticed during blending was that the Vitamix 7500 seems to operate more quietly than the Vitamix 5300. The Vitamix 7500 also comes with a cookbook, whereas at least right now, the Vitamix 5300 just comes with the standard getting started guide, which to be fair, does have plenty of recipes inside. Both models can handle a wide range of ingredients with ease. You'll find they excel at crushing ice, blending smoothies and pureeing soups. For tough ingredients like nuts and seeds, which average blenders usually struggle with, these blenders really shine. The 7500 might have a slight edge in processing these harder items due to its updated motor design. However, the 5300 is no slouch either. When it comes to hot soups, both models perform admirably. You can toss in raw vegetables and let the blenders work their magic, creating steaming hot soups in minutes. The friction from the blades heats the ingredients as they blend, which saves so much time on cooking. When you're comparing the Vitamix 7500 and 5300, you'll find their blending containers are quite similar. Both models come with a 64 ounce low profile container, which is wider and shorter than older Vitamix designs. The 7500's container is made of BPA-free Eastman Triton copolyester, offering durability and clarity. You'll appreciate its see-through design, allowing you to monitor your blends easily. The 5300 also features a 64 ounce low profile jar with the same material. This design allows both blenders to fit under most kitchen cabinets, saving you valuable counter space. The wide base of these containers creates a more efficient vortex, pulling ingredients down toward the blades for smoother blends. This design works well for both small and large batches. Personally, I prefer the motor-based design of the Vitamix 7500, which is flat and modern, whereas the Vitamix 5300 has a sort of angled base, which doesn't look quite as appealing in my opinion. On both the 5300 and the 7500, you'll find a pulse switch for quick bursts of power. This gives you more precise control over texture and consistency. Both blenders have a variable speed control dial with 10 settings, so you can start slow and gradually increase speed as needed. This flexibility lets you tackle a wide range of recipes with ease. The on-off switch is positioned identically on both models, making it simple to start and stop blending. You'll find the controls responsive and smooth to operate on each blender. Keeping your Vitamix blender clean is a breeze, whether you've got the 7500 or 5300 model. Both feature a self-cleaning function that makes your life easier. Simply add warm water and a drop of dish soap, run the blender for about 30, 60 seconds, and voila, your blender is clean.